If you are a DIY tinkerer or project maker, chances are that you might have seen this. This is an ultrasonic sensor, which is generally used to calculate the proximity or distance of an object from this sensor. In this video, what we are going to do is we are going to understand how this ultrasonic sensor works, what are the different parts of it and how you can interface this ultrasonic sensor with an Arduino. So if you want to know how to do that, stay tuned. To start, let's grasp the fundamentals of the ultrasonic sensor. It is comprised of two key elements, a transmitter and a receiver. For a successful interface between the ultrasonic sensor and the Arduino, let's first understand the sensor's pin configuration. Typically, you will find four pins, VCC, ground, trigger, and the echo pin. The ultrasonic sensor's functionality revolves around initiating a pulse from the trigger pin. The pulse triggers the transmitter to send ultrasonic waves that interact with objects and are eventually detected by the receiver. The receiver then generates an output pulse on the echo pin. So in summary, the trigger pin is connected to transmitter and the echo pin is connected to the receiver. Let's look at this sensor to understand more about it. At the front, we have the transmitter, the receiver and the oscillator. The transmitter sends ultrasonic waves to its surroundings while the receiver sensor catches these waves back. The oscillator here helps to generate the high frequency sound waves that the transmitter sends. At the back side, we have three ICs. The one at the right is the MAX3232 IC. So remember we talked about how the trick pin is connected to the transmitter and echo to the receiver? Well, there's a little bit more happening there. So the transmitting transducer receives electrical signal from the trick pin and then the MAX3232 IC converts this electrical signal into the ultrasonic pulse. On the left side, we have two LM324 ICs. This IC helps to convert the ultrasonic pulse received back into an electrical signal for the microcontroller to make sense of it. The electrical signal is sent back to the microcontroller using echo pin. Now let's tackle the wiring. Connect the ultrasonic sensors VCC to the 5V pin of Arduino, ground to the ground pin, trigger to a chosen digital output pin, let's say pin 4, and echo to a digital input pin, for instance pin 5. We've also interfaced the LCD screen to the Arduino so we can display live distance on it. So here's the complete circuit diagram for the tutorial. You can pause the video if needed to accurately replicate the circuit setup. You can get more explanation about this complete tutorial in the blog for which the link can be found in this video's description. Now let's transition into the software aspect of this project. Okay, so let's start writing the code. At first, we will include, uh, basically, sh we should first include the wire.h library. So this is for I2C communication here. Secondly, we will include the liquid crystal library liquid crystal uh, i square uh, i square c dot h here now let's uh, you know initialize this object liquid crystal i square C. Uh, let's name this object as LCD and we need to insert three parameters in it. First is the I square C address of the LCD which is this and second will be the rows and columns of the LCD so which is 16 by 2 LCD so we are using it here. Okay. Next we need to uh, you know, uh, initialize the trig and echo pin. So we'll go constant int trig equals to pin 4 and our echo pin which will be our hearing pin it will be pin 5. So let's start with uh, the LCD. So let's do LCD dot begin to begin it. And then uh, we will start its backlight, writing lcd.backlight. Okay, now when that is done, we will print a string called as distance. 
for the LCD here so we don't have to call it again and again in the loop right okay uh, now that we are done with it let's write pin mode and let's write our inputs and outputs so trig is basically an output pin because we are sending a signal through it you know outwards from the microcontroller and the echo pin is basically a hearing pin uh, so basically uh, you know it will hear the input which is taken from the ultrasonic sensor so echo input so these are the two pins you can see which are mentioned here let's also start uh, you know serial dot begin so you know it could be useful later on for serial communication if we wanted to debug the code later okay so let's start with the uh, void loop section now so you know the fundamentals of the ultrasonic sensor the transmission will be very simple so at first the trick pin will be low so then we'll give a delay of two seconds in between and then we will start the trick pin will make it high uh, and the delay here will be 10 seconds so it will be on for 10 seconds so then the trick pin will be uh, low again so how will you write this in code format let's check that out now so that will be digital write trig high i think it will be low yes low and then we'll give a delay of two then let's do digital write again and then trig high after that we'll have a delay of 10 and then this pin will again go low trig equal to low okay. so this is basically the format of sending the transmission signal outside okay so when that is done we need to calculate the amount of time you know from which the transmitter has sent the signal and receiver has received so we need to calculate the amount of time between them so we'll create a variable named duration and we'll calculate the pulse time between them this now uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, you know receive this signal through echo pin so we'll do echo as high the next thing we'll be doing is very interesting so we'll create a variable named distance right and we'll take the duration value here and then we'll uh, you know multiply it by 0 0.034 and then divide it by 2 so now why is this done why this specific number so let's talk a bit about that okay so you remember that the speed of sound uh, speed of sound is 340 meter per second so this can also be written as 0 0.034 centimeter per microsecond which we need for the calculation here we need everything in this unit centimeter per microsecond so you converted this into this right so uh, why this divide by 2 so this pulse in signals this duration uh, when it takes it actually takes the distance which is you know from which the transmitter sends the signal and uh, then it receives back so it is basically not really the distance it is basically the addition of the transmission time plus the reception time so what we need is we just need the transmission time we don't need the reception time so we divided the you know total amount of duration passed divided by 2 to get the one way distance hope it is clear now let's do lcd dot set cursor okay i think i made a mistake yeah uh, and do 0 10 so this is uh, we'll not do 0 10 we've already done this i think it it's here it will be at 0 10 so we'll do at 10 0 and we will remove whatever you know 
was or would be there previously so if the previous value which is printed here that will be de deleted and you know continuously new value will be generated and put there so this will be i think this will not be set cursor here this will be print yes next we again do lcd dot set cursor and we do 10 0 and we print the live distance there so this is basically this variable which we took from here and we'll print it in the distance so you can also print you know serial dot print uh, live distance Uh, like I said, uh, if you need help with debugging, uh, you can use this and we'll print that serial distance on serial monitor too. And later on, you can give uh, a delay of 10, add the uh, unit also if you want. So, yeah, in centimeter. So, this is the complete code. And now we'll upload it. As you can see, after uploading the code, you will witness real time distance measurements courtesy of the ultrasonic sensor. And that's it for the video. If you want more info about this complete tutorial, we've written a complete blog where we mentioned the codes and the circuit diagram. The blog link is in the description, you can check it out. If you like the content which we are making, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching. See you in the next.